What up y'all, this is Rickon, signing back in Double Lock Mirror. Now we are... I really have not a clue what the heck I'm doing right now. I am trying to find a way to... Okay, so what was I doing? I have not a clue, hold on. Right, investigate Elsa's death. And the doctor could tell us a little bit more. Doctor. Clara seems to be the name of Eddie's mother. It's hardly an uncommon name. We need more proof for a grave accusation like this. Grave. So, let's take a look at the graves, shall we? Maybe it's in the grave? Maybe. Aha! A piece of... A photo piece. Man, I wonder what these exactly do for me. No, not there. What about you? Is there anything about these stones? Uh, anything about these graves that can tell me anything? Hmm. Yeah, these graves don't tell me anything. I don't know what to do, guys. I really don't know what to do. No, no, no. This door's locked again, so I can't go in there. Hmm. Do I need to go back downstairs and have a decent little chat with Clara? Uh, with uh, Elsa? Elsa's ghost, at least? I have not a clue. We need to do something. I need to do something. I don't know what to do because this, hmm, I'm at the point where this game doesn't has given me any more hints than what I would like. But then again, you usually don't always get what you want. So do with what you can. Oh boy! Like even Rory won't be won't talk to us, which kind of sucks. I mean, come on! I need to, I need something, something, please. Anything at all? Not even around here? I don't know about any of this. I don't know about anything right now. Well, let's go see if Rory will actually talk to us. If not, then... Nope. Rory will not talk to us. How the heck am I supposed to find what I need and do what I need to do without any form of hints? The belongings of Aha Found something, all right. Recognize or... that? The necklace. Is that a young Eddie and his mother Clara? Alright, okay, I finally. I'd like to inform you that your husband, Corporal Victor Mallory, number 874511, was killed in action with the enemy on the day of the 14th of September in Ypres. Your husband was involved in an advance against enemy lines. While he and his fellow soldiers fell, the action was successful, and you can take comfort in knowing his sacrifice saved many lives. It was not possible to get his remains away, and he was buried in a soldier's grave. Please accept the condolences of all the company. Yours, Captain Arthur Jones, 4th Army. All right, that, that kind of sucks. Thank you for your last letter. My heart soars with every word of yours I read. I touch the ink and imagine your fingers are just inches from mine. That we can almost touch. That I can almost feel the warmth of your skin once more. Young Edward grows more like his father each day. You'd be amazed how he shares your looks. I long for the day that this terrible war is ended and you return home to us. So we can be a family once more. 
I shall write to you again soon. Know that until then you are always in our hearts. Your loving wife, Clara. The date. She was writing this when the death notice arrived. Oh, the poor woman. Oh man, that really sucks. Well, at least we now know that that fact actually is Clara. You see? The necklace was his mother's. He gave it to the maid. The maid! You're right. We need to speak to him about this. But how could you know this? I can't help you if you don't tell me. Cousin Eddie might be a murderer. How I draw my conclusions can wait for now. Um... Well, I suppose that's the best way to deal with that. But let's, uh... Oh, yeah, there's the door. Let's go have ourselves a nice little chit-chat with Eddie. That took me a while to figure out to learn. I was just walking through the hallways, and all of a sudden I remember, wait, I just walked to the library, walked back out, and went, wait a minute. Somebody said something about Eddie's belongings of his mother's being in the library. So I went and checked in the library, and lo and behold, there the stuff was. But now I'm really, really curious to see what the heck is in that attic. Alright. Eddie, I need to ask you about the maid. About Elsa. You didn't know her! I know that you and her were... That is to say, I know you had feelings for her. What? That's poppycock! You're as deranged as your father was! David, really? You go too far with this behavior. Yes. The police will be here soon. Would you not prefer to clear this up before they get here in case they link Eddie with the crime? Now look here, young lady. How dare you speak? That's enough. Eddie. Ah, uh, the pendant. Ripped clothing, little doe. Um... Um, um, let's start with the pendant. You gave her this. It was your mother's. Uh, I did. It was. Eddie! I was just trying to cheer her up. She has nothing, and I had no need of it. You know oh, yeah, she was... sends... <sighs> you know she sent most of her money home to her grandmother. Uh, ripped clothing? Her clothing was ripped, as if someone was trying to force themselves upon her. I would never have hurt her. And a little doe. My dog. little doe. Strange thing to call the help. Uh, how? It was just... just harmless fun, that's all. You're a worthless liar. You think she thought being pressed against a dead animal was harmless fun? How do you know? It's true. Elsa and I... I would never have laid a finger on her. <laughs> we were in love. I helped her with everything. Even with her chores. Uh, uh, Rose and... That's quite enough. Eddie, you are obviously upset. And you are not helping, David. Angus, will you please take the young master upstairs? As you say, ma'am. Uh, ho whoa, whoa, hold on. Aren't I the master? Don't I get a say in this truly? I think you have caused quite enough disruption here. We shall settle this heritage dilemma first thing tomorrow. I don't think so. I have more questions now than ever about my father, the maid, this whole damn house. Yeah. Have a care, David. Need I remind you of your father's temper? I would never. Given the current mental state of Master Eddie, who should be a part of the heritage considerations, any discussion on the topic would be futile at this point. Would you not agree? <sighs> Thank you, Leah. Yeah. Maybe it's a good thing you're here after all. Absolutely. I mean, she he might keep us out of here. Impudent brats. 
What's going on? Did you notice when Margaret got angry? When Eddie mentioned chores involving Rose. What does that mean? It can only have something to do with Lady Rosemary and Aunt Cecilia. And whatever the maid was doing in the attic. The attic? Mm, I saw the maid coming down the stairs with a tray. But there's nothing up there but an empty room. Or so I thought. Interesting. Ooh. Somebody's up there. I gotta figure what out it, what. I have to see. David, wait! Oh, geez, Ed. You're just gonna leave without the light? And that was very creepy how the boy just went, Come here. Come here. <laughs> that was very creepy. Okay, that footsteps can stop now. You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? Uh, ghosts, memories, um, it, they're definitely memories. I can see echoes. Memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. I'm the pendant. Uh, secateurs, defiance, uh, let's go with if the pendant. I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Uh, unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. <laughs> go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. Absolutely. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. And let's try not to lose our temper in that one, because Eddie's a bit of a hassle. Alright! Oh, hey, where'd I get this candle from? Uh, well, first place to check probably is the cellar. Maybe. Alright, downstairs we go. Or not. What the heck? Oh, come on! So I suppose... Huh? Yeah, he stays in love. I don't really believe that. I don't think Elsa. Uh, maybe, maybe actually. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. That one's a very questionable one. Pressing her against a dead animal. I don't exactly call that f little fun or uh, in love. Oh my goodness gracious. Way, way, way to show up and not alert anyone of your presence. Like, seriously, dude. I almost feel like you're the ghost here. You're the culprit. Yep, this Still guy's the culprit. Not, I see. A lawyer's work is never done. May I ask you something? Cecilia and Rose, Clara Heritage, leave. Ah, uh, let's just go. What Cecilia. can you tell me about my aunt Cecilia? Beyond her name, I know nothing about her. I'm afraid. And Rose? She died before I entered the Gordon service. All right. What about Clara? My aunt Clara. How did she pass? It's a funny thing, from what I know. She had a fever, something she should have recovered from, but Lady Margaret said it was as if she didn't try to fight it and she let it take her. Lady Margaret raised Eddie as her own after that. Hmm. 
Problem. I'm still debating the transfer of my ownership. I'm not sure whether to do it or not. Well, it's not my place to advise either way, but it is part of my job to provide a conduit between you and Lady Margaret. I'm confident we can work toward a solution. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't I even want this place. I'll leave you to it. To me, I wouldn't want Indeed. this place at all. The sooner I finish, the sooner I can leave. Leave? This place, I hate to say it as a grown man, but it gives me the creeps. And with what happened to the maid, well... Quite. So, until later then. How did you know what happened to the maid? You weren't even here! How did he know about the maid? He wasn't... When did he even arrive? I am so confused right now. I mean, and I mean very confused. I'm... I'm questioning everything about this. Mm. Well, that's clear enough. I guess we go this way. No, th this way. I think, right? This way? Next. I don't know. I went the, I went the wrong way. Oops. Oh well, there's always more than one way over there. Oh, not this way. I went the wrong way again! This kid certainly knows how to give me the spooks. Definitely. And whew, I do apologize. There are, Oh, hello. Oh, I'm in the attic now? How did I get into the Well, hello, my dear Elsa. Oh, Sir Edward. You look very handsome today. Eddie? Why thank you. You're as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh. Mwah. Mwah. Uh, Eddie? Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Uh... Eddie! A missing cross? Self-made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. Yeah, okay, that's stuff of nightmares. What about the missing cross over here? Can I even get over can I even get over there? Right there. What do you see here, Eddie? You'll be quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox uh, is fast asleep, uh, so the um, rabbit's tiptoed past. Hi. The fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. <gasps> I've warned you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. The eyes of the fox, they shone with cold light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. I am kidding. So creeped out right now. I wonder what's on the other side. Is there... Uh, no, can't see a switch or lever. I guess not all castles are like Edgar Allan Poe used to describe them. <laughs> no. 
You have to pull that one apart. Oh, hey, another piece of the photo. Hmm. I don't even know what photo piece I'm taking, picking up. A secret passage. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Uh, you're not gonna take a candle? Buddy. 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 What are you doing? Oh, dear. Just a little further. Just a little further? It looks like a long way down there. Okay, go. Go, go. I am not liking this one bit. The ambience, the ambience. Damn it! Jesus! Oh, oh no! Jesus! This that scared the shit out of me. Okay, there's that. Okay. So, oh boy. That's it. Open wide. Good. I don't want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please, don't. I do not enjoy this, as you well know, but you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. What the? Rosemary. Great Grandma Rosemary? God. She's pelly skin and bones. How is she still alive? I found her in the switch. It was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, Jeez. you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when <laughs> Jesus God. <laughs> oh dear, yes and no. oh uh, uh, uh. Examine. Big and heavy. But it's seen better days. Just how long has she been chained to this bed? I don't know, and I don't really want to know. All right, Rose? let's. Rosemary, can you hear me? Rose. Rosemary. Okay, yeah, she can't hear you. All right, so we got to go looking around. Where are you going? We can't leave her like this. I'm not leaving her like anything. I'm just, I'm trying to look around to find things. She's not talking. What the? Ooh, what's this? I saw this. In a vision. Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it. Yeah, that might help a lot. Take down. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> oh, okay. Let's have ourselves a little talk then, shall we? Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Still nothing. Oh, dear. What else do I need to freaking do? Uh, break, break. Oh dear. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It's a clicking one. Alright, so I'll go around this way. Can she talk to us now? Oh, 
Rosemary, I'm David. John's son. Your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, come back here. Come back here. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. No, no. Stay. 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 Who did this to you? It was. I was bad. Bad. I disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disappeared. <laughs> Not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Yeah, indeed. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here. In this room. Safe from the black mirror. <laughs> the black mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely a lot to explain. Alright, but that's... That's actually... This is getting... Somewhere and nowhere. Just more and more questions are being thrown at me. And I don't even know what to do about it. I'm... <clears throat> I'm probably just, just, just that dumb. But anyways, uh, I guess it's hard for me to speak my mind sometimes. Or actually, a lot of the times. But anyways, that's all I have for today, guys. So thank you for watching. And if you like this video, press that like button, like you made it. And as always, stay active and stay connected. And I'll see you on the next one. This is Zircon, signing out. Bye, y'all!